Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a brand new front kitchen floor plan from Heritage Glen. This is a 2021 Forest River Wildwood Heritage Glen model 270 FKS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you the three things we love and the three things we dislike about every towable RV that we review. And again today, I'm super excited to be taking a look at one of the hottest selling floor plans this year at the Tampa RV show, the Wildwood Heritage Glen. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! And hey I'm here Bruce! With Bruce. Hey How's guys. it going? How are you? Good, what's going on today? We're gonna go through this great new floor plan. I think everybody's gonna really enjoy seeing this. Matt's gonna spend some time on the outside. I'm gonna focus on why I think this is a great new floor plan on the inside. We're gonna show you everything and give you reasons why this is the unit to consider. Will, do you have anything you wanna say? Yeah, I'm really excited about this too because it really competes against Flagstaff and Rockwood. So, you know, it gives you another good option to, to uh, compare with. I think it's the better option. Well, That's right. let's begin. All right. Model is 270 FKS, but the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 33 feet, six inches. The dry weight is 8,217 pounds, and will the hitch weight? 1,125 pounds. Right, always remember, it doesn't matter what your tow vehicle is, you're always gonna want weight distribution bars. Right up here, this is a luxury travel trailer. We have a nice power tongue jack right here. Two propane tanks go here, you can upgrade them to 30s, and your batteries go there. And then check out this nice fiberglass molded front cap. I love the windshield. I love Very the color nice. scheme. Yeah. I love the bulge coming out of it. And you have these LED light strips right here. Also a nice diamond plate rock guard right here. And then there's something very unique. We actually have an outside kitchen on this kind of. You do have an ever chill refrigerator right here and a nice little uh, skillet griddle right here. Now this isn't much, but when you compare this to other front kitchens or other couples trailers you don't normally see that at all and then right here's your outdoor shower coming down the side we do have power stabilizing jacks very nice something very unique is you do have two uh passenger side campsite doors to get in also look at the double solid steps i love that yeah and we have a nice big power awning with LED lights and an oversized grab handle right here, making this easy to use to get in and out of the coach. Right here, we do have a water heater right there. And then this is a place for, to leash up your dog so the dog could be outside the campsite and won't go running off. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Castle Rocks, I love these. ST225-75R15. I love the way the rims look. We have those Dexter axles there and then look how far apart their spread, making it a better towing experience. Right here, we do have power and coax on the outside with a V bracket, so you can hook up an outside TV. Again, a second entrance with solid steps. I love that. And then coming down the side here, wow. we even have some very nice pass-through storage. That's a lot of storage. And it's a slam latch door. Very nice. Around the back, we do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier right here. We have all your water hookups right here. Sanitation, black tank, flush potable water fill. Potable, potable. Uh, an outdoor shower right here as well. Also, it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. Finishing up with the driver's side, you can see that it is a 50 amp unit. It does have two AC units on the roof which again is very unique for a travel trailer this size. That's an awesome feature. Coming down the side here, we do have a little bit more storage because you can never have enough storage. It's a lot of storage. Actually. Right over here, down there, that's where you dump your black and gray tank. And then you also have another one right there. Okay. And then finishing up, right over here is just a little bit of storage because you can never have enough storage. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but 
The inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Check out the inside. All right. <clears throat> Starting up front in the kitchen here, dining area and living area here. We got the bathroom here and the bedroom in the back. All right, starting up front. Yeah, so uh, Bruce is gonna do up here. When you're done with this, I'm gonna do the MSRP. Okay. And then Will will do the living room and then we'll do the bathroom and the bedroom. Go ahead, Bruce. So a lot of travel trailers currently are, are rear kitchens, rear living rooms. And we're seeing a lot of people that now that we have the front windshield, they want the front kitchen again. The front kitchen was something that was very, very popular years ago, but it seemed to have gone away. So this floor plan, I'm really excited. This is one of my, what I would call my manager picks. We have a lot of products available here at General RV, but with this new floor plan, with incorporating that front windshield mm. in the fiberglass cap, it still gives you that safety that you're not gonna have damage to that windshield driving because of the curvature of it. It also gives you the privacy with a pull down blackout shade on the front, the pleated shades. Gives you a great spot to look out front, see what's yeah. going on at the campsite. Notice your, your country sink, one piece sink, all metal hardware, a lot of windows throughout this. You've got the Furion microwave, the lighted knobs on the range and the oven. Uh, really, really nice glass countertop. Gives you that extension of workspace throughout the unit. Opening window. On the other side here, we've got opening windows. Tons of storage. If you notice, by going to a front kitchen, you get more drawer space. You get more cabinet space. Wow. Spot for a uh, trash can. That's an $83 trash can, Bruce. No, no extra charge. Well, okay. we continue to save people money every day. So just give it away. So I love all the storage that's in this, all the workspace. This is a travel trailer that's smaller. It's not a 35, 38 foot travel trailer. This gives you the workspace that you need. Great overhead cabinet space. Yes, sir. I, I love, love the new wood that they've gone yeah. to. It keeps this interior brighter, cheerier. Notice that they add the skylight up in the front. Yep. It's a little bit more expensive to do it, but they do it. They give you that extra light that's coming into the trailer. Something that I would like to add real quick. You two are both very tall. Yeah. And look, look at, at the that radius roof. Yep. It's awesome. That is great. Oh, had the fridge come open. So Everchill fridge, okay. That's a compressor fridge. Does right. give you the extra space. Yep. And it is more residential. All the appliances match throughout the trailer. I want to point out the flooring on this. Notice the herringbone cut on this. It's, it, it's really, really more residential feel on the inside. Going to the dinette. I like the waterfall edge that they've done. Gives it a great aesthetic look to this. Freestanding table and chairs on the front. You do have some lift up, so a little bit of storage for magazines as you travel. Again, I mentioned this earlier. Look at all the windows. Everything that you nice. look at, typically nowadays, you have so many windows that are missing or windows that don't open. These windows open, you get cross ventilation, side to side, front to back on this travel trailer. Okay, you got theater seating. Okay, very, very comfortable. It's got a foot part that pops up so you can sit here at night, sit in the afternoon, watch football game, chill out and enjoy. You've got a little bit of heat coming from your Greystone fireplace. Mm -hmm. This is everything that we stock on them. Most of these are standard features. Like Matt said, when we were on the outside of this, we do have the double air conditioners on it. The air conditioners do have the quick cool feature on it also if you're not aware of that. You come in here, it's hot, you've got pets in here, you wanna dump that cold air space right into your living room, you can do it instantly. Once the temperature is more moderated front to back, you close the dampers and then it comes out through your ducted roof air conditioning. Radius roof on the outside, a lot of water runoff, you've got more headroom like we talked about by not having that, that flat roof it continues to give you that more headroom height, much more spacious feel on the inside. Larger TV, okay? Little closet that's lit right when you walk in the door. Wow. Put your shoes in there, put some sweatshirts in there, and then in the back. Well, before we go to the back, Bruce, it's now time for the MSRP. We'll get to the back in a second. <laughs> okay, MSRP on this travel trailer here is... 
$51,119 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see right there, we don't currently have a sale price because it's a 2021 model year. But I know we can get everybody in America the best price. Ain't that right, Bruce? Call us. Well, we'll tell everybody what to do. <laughs> they can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301 That's my personal cell phone. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three choices. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV Center. Fill out that form and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this travel trailer and you want to talk to me or Will, click that second tab. We will answer you within 24 hours. Or if you just have a generalized fan question, click that third tab and we do monitor that email as well. And Will, it doesn't matter if they click tab three, two, or one. There is one thing that all three tabs have in common. They're going to get the best price in America. Bruce, let, let's continue the video. Love this floor plan. When, when we look at stocking floor plans and new floor plans come out, you scratch your head sometimes and you go, what were they thinking? Why did they design <laughs> this floor plan? Come on, people that use these RVers were RVers. I use an RV, know the floor plans that work. I have to listen to my wife. This works, this doesn't work. Don't ever bring this home again. This is a floor plan that I think everybody will really enjoy. Mm. You know, you notice this bathroom. You can go through this floor plan a couple different ways. If the slide rooms are in, you can still yep. squeak by. You've got solid doors, mm -hmm. not fabric doors. This has a higher end feel like you're in a motorhome with the glass shower doors. Not, again, cheap curtains. Get in there, Will. Shower right. surround. Top of the Will, Will's going to fit in here no problem. Wow. And Will, you're how tall? 6'3". Six, 6'3". Three. Six, wow, three. that's pretty impressive. And you still have headroom height still in here. still have headroom. It is a radial shower. You guys know we don't like those as much, but it is a. It seems like a bigger radial shower. It's a bigger shower. radial, like a bigger door opening as well. Yeah, and it's, it, you know, I could, eat, I could shower in here. So, okay, I'm doing prime pooping position. Oh, no! Whoa. Go ahead, so Bruce. I'm taking it. Don't be mocking me I, I, comments on this video, I would please. say no, but you are the okay. boss. <laughs> okay. So, I hate to be a little vulgar, but I'm going to talk about it, because this is a comfortable bathroom. If you notice, you've got plenty of room here to sit. Wife's in the shower. Your partner's in the shower. you still got room to do your duty. Toilet paper holder's here. And there's room. Is it porcelain? It is porcelain. All right, Bruce, I need you to bing. Point your finger and go... Bing. Oh, that's go. a prime pooping position. <laughs> and I love that they actually give you a good spot for a toilet paper holder. Yep. You don't always see that. Balances right here, a little bit of storage, just because it's a little tight in here. And then storage there. Bruce, you're doing an excellent job. Continue with the bedroom. All right, so walking back here, you know, when you, when you look for something a little bit shorter that's not 40 feet long, in a destination trailer or what's called a park model in some cases. You look at your bedroom and a lot of people are wanting something smaller that's still towable, that still gives you oh, the availability wow. of doing a stackable washer and dryer or a washer dryer combo. This floor plan has it. Nice locking doors for the back wardrobe. And we'll get a shot of this back wardrobe as I open this one. And that's notice how awesome. far back this goes, okay? That's a closet. So. I'm gonna put my arm out here, okay? That's the depth that you have for storage here. So not only do you have a hang bar, if you wanted to add some shelves in here, and this is a, such a big cabinet, it's nice that they spent a little bit more thought and put a window in here. Yep. So your lights are off. Yeah. You've got the ability to get some more natural light in here if you want, leave the door open. If you're in here getting ready in the morning, notice all your, you got a ha wow, hamper. hamper. Look at that and you still gain extra storage by having the dresser at the foot part of the bed. Wow. So a lot, a lot, a lot of good storage. Double windows, again, windows open, screen door, ventilation, large windows on the side. You've got the MCD style shades. I love the color of the shades as well. Okay. Yeah. No clinking, clinking, clinking with cheap metal blinds that are gonna go bad there. And you get a nice king bed. That's awesome. So, a little bit of storage on the back here. Oh wow! Oh, so that's the, the outside. Yeah. So you can access it inside or outside. Some people decide to put a little partition between there. Put your totes back here, the extra linens, or if you're in this full time and you want to put coats, seasonable clothes items, you've got the space to do it. Also, I love the headboard. Headboard is really modern in its design. 
you know, you got a spot here for your glasses. You got a spot here to put, you know, if you've got a CPAP machine, you've got some room on the side and you don't have it tight up against the wall. So if you have some cold temperatures, some moisture at night, your bed and your linens aren't laying right up against the wall. Yep. And if you like to read at night or watch TV at night, this is pleated, okay? It does have some cush to it and you don't have a window that if you have moisture on your window at night, your pillows aren't leaning against that window mm. and having that condensation go over on onto your pillows while you're sleeping there. Smart. Well, Bruce, that was a great job. Thank and you. And that's it. That's Thanks the review. Now, well, before fun. everybody leaves, it's now time. We, you guys know the rules. It's now time we give you three things we love about this floor plan and three things we dislike. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Yes. Okay. Uh, I have two if you have one. Um, go do yours and I'll... Okay. I have... I have one right here actually i have three if you don't have one okay i hate when the door latches like this okay for me i'm yeah. just gonna rip that off the wall i'm gonna forget about it i personally am not a fan of the door latches like that to keep this closed i would much prefer if they put magnets in the doors in that way and make it a stronger magnet where it's not gonna swing open but even still i could just see me ripping that off the door and then it's gonna tear up the screw holes and then over time it's gonna go away yeah. So that's one. Two. Do you have a two? No. I have yet. two. Okay. Me personally, I'm a little slob when I eat sometimes. And oh, I yeah. do not like the carpet and the slide outs. Andrea doesn't like the carpet, which means I don't like the carpet. And what I could see myself doing is dropping a tater top full of ketchup and then <laughs> staining the carpet right there. So that's number two. Do you have a third? Because I do if you don't. I really don't. Ah, yes you do. You just forgot about it. It's oh, okay. Here. It's going to be the dump station. Oh, you're right. I did have a third. Both dump stations are under the slide outs here. Kind of tough to get, you see? Yeah. That one's a little bit easier than that one, but that right. one's the other one's going to be impossible to get while the slide outs are out. And it's one of the positives and negatives because these are such deep slide outs, that's awesome. But it is gonna be hard to get to when the slide outs are out. Again, not a big deal. All you gotta do is hook it up when the slide outs are in. That's right. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now, it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. You wanna go first? Sure. Go ahead. Bruce has one? Yeah, Bruce probably has one. Let's see how many he has first. Bruce, it's I've time- I two if you have one, Will. All right, I got one. You start. I'm going to save these outside steps. Okay. I love that normally, when you have two doors, they'll put one set of solid steps and one set of like the fold up steps. I love that they spent a little bit of extra money to put double solid steps there. I'm going to combo that. The fact that they just have two doors is yeah, awesome in itself. Awesome. Yep. So that's one. All right, let's head on the two. Inside. Okay. Come on in. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back to why we think this floor plan and everybody's going to enjoy this floor plan. I think the ability to have the washer dryer hookups in this floor plan. Stackable. Stackable or combo. Yeah. You, know, you, can, you can take your pick and it'll make this work. Now, if you're not one that likes to have that or need it, you just double your storage space by this back cabinet. Yeah. Yep. Okay? The other thing that's really important to me and my family is I want to feel open when I'm in the floor plan. Yes. yes. If you look at every single window in this trailer, opens. Every one of them allows for cross ventilation. Not always do you want the air conditioning on. You're camping. Yep. Enjoy camping. I'm going to double combo that with the deep slide outs as well. Yep. So that's two. And then Bruce, do you have a third? So the other thing is the how this has the ensuite with massive floor space in this bedroom. Yep. Dressing getting ready in the morning, somebody else is in the bathroom, using the bathroom. That bathroom in conjunction with this bedroom works. Yes. It just absolutely works. You know, you've got room on the throne, on the toilet. You've got room in the shower, somebody that's tall. We showed, yep. Will's a big guy. Yeah. Will corn, fits in there. He's corn fed. And <laughs> he's got the ability to snap the towel in there. I like everything about this whole dressing, living, bathroom combination in this with the solid doors the privacy it just works it's a great floor plan i'm gonna give one more positive you know okay. why whoa because we can do that um we, we we can't forget this front kitchen with that this is very windshield. true and all the counter space yep yep that, that front kitchen gives you is awesome absolutely 
Well, that's it. That's the review. That's the review. Bruce, thank you so much for joining us today. Great seeing you guys. If you guys have any questions about this RV, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. Again, that's my personal cell number, but the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs that works best for you. In a few seconds, if you're seriously considering a unit like this, we're gonna put its direct competitors as videos right there. Will, do you have anything you wanna say? Of course. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. You know, this really is a great, phenomenal, couples travel trailer. I love the kitchen in this and I hope you guys like it as much as we do. So make sure to leave in the comments below three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and like the video or, and subscribe, sorry. Bruce, final thoughts? Hey, enjoy this floor plan, call us. This floor plan just was released at the Tampa Super Show. It's the first time going that people have seen it. So call us, we've got more coming in. Perfect. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Will, we'll see you next time.